Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So it is Sunday the 22nd um, and oh, it's so funny. <laughs> my dog's just outside right in front of where I am and he thinks I'm talking to him. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him but he's, he's not happy. Okay, so today I didn't um, film what we were doing today. Um, I just had a bad day. Uh, the kids just weren't listening and we're not being the greatest um, because my husband was at home sleeping and the amount of time I told them to be quiet and they just did not listen. So I just just wasn't recording that um, even though it probably would be really interesting to you guys. But so I decided I'm going to do a, um, I don't know what you call it, I'm sure it's called some terminology on YouTube land of, it's not a hack or anything, but these are, I'm going to show you my five favorite um, household cleaning items that make your life easier. As a parent, um, I am no clean freak and I need any help in the cleaning department that I can for um, help making it easier so that I'll actually do it. <laughs> So I will show you my, the items that I've found. A lot of them I've only just recently discovered and oh, I can't live without them now. So let's get into it and I'll show you what they are. So first up, let's just go with this one. So these are kitchen wipes. So I know they're not great for the environment, but these are something I've just recently discovered and oh, I don't know if they're only new, but they just make my life so much easier. So in the kitchen, you know, I will literally go through, I think I go through these, maybe a big one, maybe every two weeks. And I, these ones are on special today at Coles for $5. Um, but I have tried the Woolworths own brand and they were great. So they're nice and thick and they are just so handy. I love them. I use them and they're just so easy to just whip around your sink and your tabletops and, and um, cooktop. Love it on a cooktop. But another thing that I use them for is if I need to, like I'll put them on the floor and then use my foot and I can just go around and, and mop the floor like when I'm in a hurry like in the morning I want to get out of the house but the kitchen floor looks disgusting because the kids have spilled all their breakfast all over it I'm not going to have time to get the mop out so I can literally grab one or two of these put it on the floor with my foot and then I scooch around and the floor looks immaculate I love it so this is my first thing first kitchen thing that I absolutely love and can't live without now. So, second item, and this I literally have only just discovered as well this year, is this doodad. Kitchen sponge and dishwashing liquid inside. So I know these have been around for ages, but I just never thought to buy one. So, um, it has made my life so much easier because I um, have had a dishwasher, but anything that didn't fit in the dishwasher, I'm like, I'm not washing it. And so, if I did have to wash it, I would fill the sink up, like you have to fill the whole sink up um, and do the dishes. Like, because it's normally only pots and things that you can't fit in the dishwasher, like big things. But with one of these, you don't have to fill the sink. You literally, I just run water um, and go around it quickly with this and it's clean, like straight away. It's the best, I love it. And I also love it to clean around the sink. So, the, so what happens with it is when, when there's water, I'll show you, when there's water on it, Ooh, ooh, ooh. All can you see it? All the suds just automatically come out. I'll just want to over my floor. <laughs> um, the suds just 
automatically come out. So I love it because I can just quickly scrub up the dinner dish, the dinner pots. It's usually always on in the pots. I take two seconds. I don't have to fill the whole sink. Um, and my kids, my kids can use it as well. So they don't have to fill the whole sink and get burnt, burnt by the hot water. Um, but it just so quick and easy. Love it. That is definitely something I now can't live without. I also tried using it with Domestos in the bathroom and it worked. Yes, um, it was great, but I left the Domestos in the tubey bit, which you can leave your dishwashing liquid in, no problems, but the Domestos actually ate away the sponge. So I wouldn't recommend, if you're gonna do it, use it, it's great, at the time but empty out the domestos and then put domestos in the next time you're going to use it because yeah it ate away my sponge okay so next up is these norwex cloths so i went to a norwex party and i went thinking i'm not going to buy anything because what is all this stuff i can just go to the supermarket and get some blue chucks and they'll be exactly the same but the lady did a demo and showed us how amazing um, the products were and I'm a convert. I love them. So I only have a um, the Enviro cloth, which is this one. So it is absolutely filthy. Well, it's not filthy, it's actually clean, but it is all stained all over because I used it um, when we were moving house just recently and I used it every which where I scrubbed the whole house with it so it went it was black it was completely black but I just chucked it or my dad actually did actually chucked it in the washing machine and it's you know it's stained but it still works there's no difference because it's stained so that's the Enviro cloth so this is the cloth that you can use for everything <clears throat> so this is like your chucks but you don't chuck it and then this is the polishing cloth so it's a anti-back and it's called a window window cloth so these two together as a combo are the best so i use them um for cleaning windows you literally do not need windex ever again because you just don't need it all you have to do is wet this one so this is your cleaner cloth so this will get because it's got all, if it will focus, it's got like lots of ridges. So it um, scrubs and cleans away all the dirt and wets it. So I use that on mirrors and glass and that leaves all the streaks all over. Sorry guys, my film cut off, well my camera cut out because it apparently got too hot. I accidentally left it running. Anywho, so I was talking about the Norwex uh, polishing cloth. Well, it's called the window cloth, but I call it the polishing cloth. I don't know why. So this cloth um, you use after you've used the Enviro, which is the cleaning cloth. Um, you use this one to go through and polish. So this will get all the streaks off. So um, it's amazing on your mirrors whoa you see the difference and then glass as well like um sliding doors and windows and everything that um you would normally see with the streaks if you didn't um you know have something to like a this whatever your normal method of doing it um this way is just so much easier so just these two cloths and water all you use is these two cloths and water no windex no vinegar no paper towels, just this. And um, I don't sell Norwex, nope. I just love it because it's just so easy. I can just whip around, clean mirrors, clean glass, and it's just so good. Um, and showers, it can actually get the shower scum off. So um, if, the sh if you have it without shower scum, then you know, um, it's much easier to just like, you know what I mean? Like if it's not crazy build up, but if it is crazy build up, there's a lot of scrubbing you're gonna have to do with this to get it off. But if you have 
um, keep on top of it, then you can easily get a keep your shower clean without using any other products and this will get the shower scum off as long as it isn't crazy built up. All right, so that's the Novex cloths that I love. Okay, so these are a bit big to get in. So first I'll go my um, Dyson vacuum cleaner stick. So this is my Dyson stick that I absolutely adore. I, sorry, it's a bit dirty. Um, it, I got it, I don't, can't remember when I got it. I got it last year, maybe for Mother's, no, I got pots for Mother's Day. I don't know when I got it. Or it was sometime last year. But they were running a promotion where you buy a um, vacuum cleaner, like the normal one, like the barrel one, and you get this for free, the stick. So I had to do it. I've been wanting, I was wanting to get a Dyson for ages, um, but I was saving up my flyby points actually to, to get one. But then I saw the promo and I just had to because I knew I wanted a stick um, and I wanted the normal vacuum cleaner. So I, when I saw that, I had to get it. So why do I love this? Um, I got both and I can tell you, I can count on one hand how many times I've used the normal vacuum cleaner this this literally takes over like you don't need to you like the other one this obviously is on a battery so um, depending on how much you need to vacuum clean it, um, it, it it doesn't last forever it, it, it I do wish it had a better battery life but it does it does do a pretty good job battery wise um, I can do my whole house, um, no, no, I can, no, I can't do my whole house, but I can do this, the areas that I want to do, um, before it runs out of battery. But the reason why I probably don't do the whole house, my whole house is mostly tiles. Like I've, only the bedrooms is, um, carpeted. And so when it's on, I find that when it's on the tiles, I need to use this button at the back, back which is max. And um, when I press that, the battery literally cuts in half of how long you can use it uh, with the battery because it's like double power. So that's probably why I don't get crazy battery life. Like, cause I use that. So this thing is just amazing. It is, um, it is just like a normal vacuum cleaner. Like you, you, the suction in this is just like a normal vacuum cleaner. Um, and it just handles so well too because it's got like a a ball head so it can just go into spaces and it just moves around and maneuvers and I love it I use it every single day and I couldn't live without it now I literally could not live without it so I think a big W and Target and all that do like do these on special but I do know that I bought the next model like up uh, motor wise so that it was like nice and high powered so anyway I absolutely love my Dyson um, I have had a cheaper brand stick vacuum cleaner before um, it was the Electrolux and I wasn't a fan it, it didn't work for me like it just it would push push the dust or uh, push the dirt and that stuff around the floor it didn't have the power so this definitely spend a bit more and you will love it okay next is this is from Kmart can you see it it is a mop you'll see here it is a mop so this can peel off and go into the washing machine so this is a mop that can spray out the um like the water so you, i put a floor cleaner in here a couple of squirts of a floor cleaner in here and hot water i put hot water from the tap in and then you just have to pull this oh there's water in it <laughs> um and it sprays it sprays on the tiles and then you just wipe it up so this is amazing i love it because mop a bucket when you're in a hurry it's just easy 
like there's no excuses I, this is these items are like my no excuses you you, you can't say it's too hard because it's just so easy all you have to do is fill up this little thing squirt squirt and you have clean floors I love this thing so it's from Kmart I think it was like $15 maybe 20, can't remember, but it wasn't expensive. And you can buy extra of these, so that if you've got one in the wash, you can have extras. But yep, yeah, that's, that is my five items that I couldn't live without. I hope you found that interesting. Um, and I will see you all again tomorrow. All right, so don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Bye.